As I deal with my Darwin Aro Blue Charm, I'm going to talk through the circumstances when only up-potting an orchid is justified based on when I have done it in the past years and why. As per with videos like these, know that there may be many other reasons as to why an up-pot is justified, and if you have your reasonings that I have not mentioned will not mention in this video, please feel free to expand on those reasonings in the comments. Understand though that environment, temperatures, and other variables in the conditions may play a huge influence when an up pot is justified and with that works out well until such a time when a full repot is on the cards. So please add your general conditions into the comments as well for clarification. This way anyone, including myself, will have a better understanding as to why it is feasible and provides the orchid with another couple of years of stress-free continued growth because that is what we are always aiming for. Reducing stress for the orchid and a full repot can be just that very stressful. I have my orchid soaking in a diluted CalMag solution for two reasons. One, to help the orchid through what could pose to be a little stressful, depending on what we find in the pot and my intentions of just increasing her pot size. And I want to soak the aerial roots so that they become less stiff, hopefully, in order to get them into the new pot. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for joining me on the patio. I hope that I can tickle out a thumbs up from you and also encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the additional support that goes above and beyond your valuable time already watching the video. Know that you are truly appreciated. So while my Darwinara is not pot bound, if she were, I would up pot her because of her slow root growth. Scenario number one. If your orchid does not grow roots like crazy that fill a pot within a short period of time, requiring another repot in a year, then by all means up pot that orchid into a larger pot. Which also means that you keep as much of the older media on the root as possible. Any media that falls off by itself can be discarded and new media can take its place in a bigger pot. If your orchid isn't solid in the larger pot, stake her. Because orchids that are stingy with their root growth will be unstable for the foreseeable future regardless of how much older media you can carry over. And when I say carry over older media, that includes organic older media. Remember an up pot is just that. Your aim is to get an orchid out of the pot and just repot her into a larger pot. Sometimes all it takes is to cup the root system with the hands and slide her into the larger pot and then fill around with fresh media. Now as you can see my Darwinara did not require a repot. Being a vendacious orchid getting any new roots to grow into the pot is a hard task but that is what I'm asking of her. In my dry climate the more roots that get into the pot the better. If her pot were not broken I would leave her be because the pot isn't full. There is still a healthy climate for gas exchange around her roots. However, seeing as I don't like the broken rim of the pot, look, I'm going to take the opportunity to also get her aerial roots into the new pot, which I have designated for her, which is one pot size up from what she was in initially. So there's another reason when I consider increasing the pot size just so the orchid has another five years in the pot, undisturbed. Yes, you heard correctly. This Darwinara has not seen a repot since she arrived in the collection in 2018. And that is only feasible because of the inorganic media. Keep in mind, inorganic media with an orchid that has thin roots not filling the pot within the usual two to three years gives us grace as growers to leave an orchid undisturbed until absolutely necessary. And seeing as she is an active root growth on the aerial roots, we are going to try and get them into the larger pot. I have made the drainage holes much larger here so that any of the roots that are too long to curl into the perimeter of the pot or still too stiff can be easily threaded through the drainage holes so they can come into contact with the water in the reservoir. And while I do that, let me explain another reason when a simple up pot is justified. And that is, if you have an orchid that is a new arrival, you're not familiar with the root growth habit and potted her up in a pot site that justifies her root system a year or two ago, but are happily surprised just how vigorous the root system grew under your care, you can simply up pot that orchid into a larger pot big enough for another two years. And usually in cases like these, you won't even see any old roots. So save yourself and your orchid the trouble of disturbing a pot bound healthy root system and just up pot that orchid. And again, this applies to organic media culture as well. Please do not be put off by seeing that I'm working with inorganic media. 
However, you may have an orchid that has just arrived in your collection and you do not like the media she came in long term, but you don't want to disturb the root system because the orchid is not growing new roots. Then I highly recommend that you do a simple up pot, but instead of filling the gaps in the larger pot with similar media your new orchid came in, fill the gaps of the pot with the media that you prefer for your conditions and then care for the orchid according to the old media mix. Especially if your orchid came in just sphagnum moss and you would prefer to have an area mix than just sphagnum moss. Remember that the older media will retain water for longer, so your margin for watering has to be respecting the older media and not the outer new media that you fill the pot with. This will buy you time until the time comes to actually repot and clean the root system. Please know that I only recommend this when absolutely necessary. Usually, I advise that the orchid remains undisturbed, no repot until new roots grow. However, sometimes our conditions are not ideal for the media a new orchid comes in and we need to make the call to add more air into the pot, allow any root tips to get accustomed to the new conditions within the pot as and when they reach the area of the new media mix that fits with your conditions. Turns out I didn't need to wrangle and feed any roots into the already extended holes. I thought I was planning ahead. <laughs> at the end of the day, that was not necessary. She is at the level that I want. Her two fans aren't buried. The previous aerial roots are no more. I have a suspicion that this root right here will be the next aerial root, but for the most part, at least there's more roots in the pot. So while this was not necessarily an up pot, it was a broken pot. It was a reason to get into the this orchid and I probably won't have to interfere with this orchid for another five years which is all part of the plan. Another factor, let me just add this in here. Just a little food for thought if this helps you out. The new arrival of an orchid can also be that you get her on a mount and if you cannot cope with the care of an orchid while she is on a mount because your conditions and lifestyle are not geared up for that, then in situations like these, you can in fact try and get the mount into a pot and fill with media. This is not necessarily an up pot, but it has just occurred to me that I did that for my Dendrobium exila back in the day because I could not figure out if she was going to grow pendant or upright. She was so tiny when she arrived. I was just getting to know her, so I took the mount and with the orchid mounted, potted her up and filled around with media. While this may not be feasible for orchids on larger mounts, or maybe it can be if you can find a pot to accommodate the roots located at the lower part of the mount, I just thought I would add it in here and if it helps for the interim until the orchid can be removed from the mount with new roots getting accustomed to growing into the media, then I'm glad I remembered to add this here as well. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I also hope that some of the information that I provided was of help to you, gave you something to think about, something to plan for. Know that your time is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I get the opportunity to wish you a beautiful day on the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.